What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're having another Lichtler Maudio pedal and this time we have the Amber Spyglass or Amber Spyglass. This is a parametric EQ pedal and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a demo and review of it. I'm gonna use it front of amp and the effects loop of the amp. So stay tuned to hear how it sounds and what you can do with it. Okay, so before going to the demo, let me quickly explain what this pedal is actually doing and what are the frequencies these uh, knobs are targeting. So from left to right, we have bass, low mids, high mids and treble knob. And we, in the middle, we have the volume knob. So the bass knob is targeting frequencies between 40 and 100 Hertz, and it can add 15 or 15 decibel or reduce 15 decibels. Then we have the low mids, which have a very narrow band at 400 Hertz and also we can add 15 decibels up or down. Then we have the high mids, which are targeting 1000 Hertz. We can add 15 decibels up or down. And then we have the treble, which targets the range between 4000 and 10,000 Hertz, as well 15 decibels. So with, with these four knobs, you can control a lot of the ranges and a lot of very musical frequencies. And um, yeah, let's go to the demo and see how it works. Okay, so let's start by having the pedal in front of the amp itself. So guitar, pedal, amp, that's it. So the amp sounds on its own like this. Everything is more or less on noon on the Angle Savage. It's pretty much the <laughs> very awesome tone, but yeah, let's mess around. So let's engage the pedal. Let's start by bass, let's cut all the bass all the way down. Let's have it at 9. Let's see, uh, 3 o'clock. And let's have the max bass, so 15 decibels of bass up. Let's start by having the low mids cut. So let's see, all the way down. Let's see, nine o'clock. Let's see next. Uh, so, mid or noon. Let's see, three o'clock. Okay, let's see upper mids, so high mids. Nine o'clock. Let's see. 
3 o'clock. <laughs> and maxed out <laughs> It gives a lot of bite and attack. And now comes the treble. So let's cut. So 9 o'clock. Uh, yeah. All the way down. Three o'clock. And then all the way up. Scratch. And let's mess with the volume. So volume all the way down is shut off. Nothing comes. So let's see. Nine o'clock. Let's see. Three o'clock. And let's try some some different tones. So for example, let's cut a bit of low mids or Let's cut bass, add a bit of low mids, add a bit of highs, and then add a bit of treble. Sounds like shit. Okay, so now I hook up the, the pedal in the effects loop of the angle savage, so the pedal goes into the amp itself and guitar straight to the amp and the uh, amp sounds on its own like this. And let's engage the pedal. You see there's no change in tone, but let's try messing with bass, so let's see. As you can see, it's very sensitive, so a slight nudge can change the tone very drastically compared to front of amp. Uh, 
So let's see low mids. Here is that muddiness that everyone hates. Boxiness. Super scooped. So let's bring volume back. Let's see high mids. Try highs or treble. So, as you can see, it's very important to stay, you know, conservative with values when in the effects loop. So, how I usually like it is that I cut a bit of low mids, I add a bit of highs, treble like this, and I add back a bit of bass. So yeah, that would be it. Okay, so now after the demo, what do you think about this pedal? Did it meet your expectations? And did it sound how you wanted it to sound? I personally think this pedal is very versatile and much more musical than I actually expected it to be. After all, this is just an EQ pedal and utility pedal that can shape your tone, but it's very musical and very powerful. How I use this pedal the most and how I like it the most is using it in the effects loop of the amp. Basically, what I like to do is cut a lot of lows of my guitar using the overdrive pedal or a clean boost going into the amp and then keeping the amp fairly balanced and using this pedal to actually cleanly boost the lows that were gone by cutting with the overdrive pedal. Now, depending on what you prefer, the low mids knob is like very nice knob because it targets those uh, muddy areas around 400 hertz, which I absolutely love to cut. I cut those uh, like in my mixes every time. So this is just like you cut it in the effects loop, you're pretty much making your tone like mix ready out of the box, as well as boosting a bit of the lows when you cut them using the overdrive pedals. So those clean lows come back. So the bass frequencies from 40 to 100 Hertz, usually those compete with the bass guitars, but bass guitars can often sit uh, at around 150 Hertz and leaving those lows lows for guitar to maybe fill in and give it that additional punch. So this is a nice way to do it. But yeah, usually when I want to add punch, this is the way I do it. 
If I want to add more bite and crunch, I mean, I don't need it actually on these amps that I have, but some amps probably do need it, or depending on the guitar you have and the pickups you have, you're missing that attack around three or 4,000. The treble knobs works wonders. It just gives it up that push that you can cut through the mix and through the, through the wall of sounds that you can create when playing live as well. So that, that knob is really a wonderful knob. So yeah, boosting a bit of the treble, cutting low mids, boosting bass, you're getting massive tones very easily and you probably heard that in the demo. So yeah, I really think this pedal is a really nice pedal. It doesn't bring any additional noise into the signal, so that's uh, really good because it uses very high quality components in it. And yeah, what can I tell? Go check this pedal out and buy it if you need something like this. It's definitely worth the money. So yeah, we've come to the end of this video. If you like videos like this, click the like button because it's gonna help me out with the famous YouTube algorithm, blah, 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 you know, all the stuff that the YouTubers say. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with my next and future uploads. I upload every week, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't force you, you can do it or not, I don't care. And in the end, yeah, all the details about this pedal and uh, other gear that I use are in the description. If you have any comments or questions, just drop it down in the comment section. I always like to talk to you guys and discuss pedals and gear, so do it. And yeah, stay safe in these times and see you next time.